Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday's episode of the Draft the Glory. Unfortunately, I've done something pretty stupid, which is something I don't really do on this series. And it is, clear the trade pile. Left-hand corner, top. You guys can see 246,000 coins have been added to the account. Reason being, if you saw what we packed in yesterday's episode, guys, that was the reason but reason why. And uh, we cleared the trade pile when I come to check out the account early on today and wiped it. Apologies for that, guys, but everything sold for what I listed it for in the video, which is 217k for Lukaku. I think one point something for Smalling. Um, and it was mainly the Lukaku purchase where the coins still come from. But we're up to 246,000 coins and still trying to disc uh, list all this stuff up. If it doesn't list, I think, in this episode, I will straight up discard it. But we are going to list it up anyway. Now, if you guys um, do enjoy enjoy these videos feel free to leave a like rating on them subscribe and make sure you hit the bell button as well guys uh, just so you know um do, do, don't know, just so you never miss an upload on the channel so if we move on into the uh, draft itself it is the online draft um we are going to pay the 15,000 coins we are in a comfortable position now as well guys i must point out we're in a very comfortable position to be able to get some money um to work with and what i'm going to go with guys is one which i don't think i went for i do like that one but I've done a five at the back would work at the moment. Uh, I'm going to go the four. Um, do I go the four triple two? Yeah, you might be able to build some nice triangles. Not a formation I'm comfortable with this one, but it might throw some nice players in the uh, in the team. We've got Gareth Bale, who will be a really, really good substitute for, uh, like pick already. So I am going to take Gareth Bale um, for that. There's no striker version of him or anything else like that. So let's see who we get as our two strikers up top. Mertens, Benzema, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, maybe we can do a triangle. Dybala in the camp position and Matuidi, maybe. Not worked. I'll go with Fabinho. Uh, Rafinha? What am I about? Uh, Fabinho, Fabinho um, the uh, Barca cam. Left-hand side, we've got Lukaku and Rodrigo. Now, I don't want Luke. Well, I packed Lukaku. It would be rude not to go with Lukaku, I suppose. But I wouldn't mind going Rodrigo um, on the right-hand side. Or Lukaku. Mertens could link as well. Um, Rodrigo, we've got Ronaldo for pace and stuff, haven't we? So I don't think two's top. Well, I don't know. I can imagine if I, take, don't take, if I take Rodrigo, you guys will complain. So I'm going to take that away and see what we get in this position. We get um, Tardelli, Gross, and Podolski. So I'm going to take Gross uh, for the link to Lukaku. Two CDMs. Hmm. This isn't looking good. And for now, I'm going to go with, uh, I presume, his Seri A is. Uh, we're going to go with him in the Seri A position. And then the right-hand side, I'm looking for a... Oof, oof. See, we get two players, which I do like the look of. We get Kante, which will be absolutely fantastic. But then Matuidi for the strong link to, uh, to Ronaldo, which is something I did ask for. But then again, do I want 89 mate Kante? Oh, I'll go Matuidi. Swap them two round, and then we just need a cam. We just need a cam. Gulam, Kolarov, Rodriguez, and Marcus Alonso. So do we swap it all over, maybe? And go with Marcus Alonso or Gulam? We'll go with Gulam. So we're going to try and stick Serie A on this side. A Serie A defender will be brilliant, and we have got... Ooh, got Oh, yeah, we've got Miranda, Vincent Company, which would have been solid, but I am going to go with uh, Miranda for the Serie A links. It means turn down some big defenders there, guys, but I will take Miranda. Right-hand side, Cahill. If we want to build Premier League. Yeah, well, I do want to build Premier League, so I'm going to go Cahill. And then right-hand side, Kyle Walker, please. Oh, Cancelo. There's no Premier League in there, so I'm going to go with Cancelo. I might end up doing this. Swapping, them to, swapping everything over for now. Doesn't really do much, does it? It's not a nice, it's not a nice looking draft. I'm going Serie A slash Premier League. And we get Perry and we get Edison, which does work uh, really, really well. So we'll go over Edison there. Um, now, we do need some defenders, preferably a left back from the Premier League. Hernandez, Rudiger, Aurier, Serge Aurier. Uh, and Rudiger as well. And Hernandez, left back, will do nothing for me. So I'll go with Serge Aurier. I might end up playing him right there. Takes a 76. 
another maybe another right back now. Florenzi. Uh, and Murillo. I'll go with Florenzi. Don't know how I'm going to get him to work, but I might do. And so we're looking for a few players to convert to, <laughs> to give us full chem. And we actually do get a really nice one there in uh, Kevin Prince uh, Boateng <coughs> of the Serie A, who comes in and takes up to 87 chemistry. <coughs> Basically, everyone's on full chemistry now, apart from cancer, uh, apart from Miranda. David Luiz would be perfect, wouldn't he, if I was to get him. We get Leonardo and we get Cou uh, Moutinho as well. Uh, could bring on Moutinho and put him there. Takes us 92 chem. But we're looking to get some strong links. And let's see if we get, if we get, better, if we can get a better striker. Mohamed Salah, oof. So Salah's going to be our pick there as a super sub. And remember, we've already got Gareth Bale. I don't know who we can get as a better goalkeeper. We've got Sirigu, Consigli, Farman. I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Farman just for rating there. Brings it up. 92 chemistry, 84 rated. We need a decent cam. John Stones, Zaha. Uh, Castillo and Stones. Stones would do something for Ken, wouldn't he? I think I would much rather have John Stones at the back instead of Cahill as well. So I'll go that 95 chem now. Now I need some strong links on the Lukaku side. Insigne. But I'm going to go with Neymar, just as that's another super sub. So we've got our super sub sorted, guys. Uh, <laughs> in Salah, Bale, and Neymar, obviously. Three more picks. I'm expecting to get probably a nasty player. Nasty bunch of players. We get Neres, Pavon, and the Skiglio, but don't need any of them. I could probably play one of them at the back, actually. Um, but then I would be affecting chemistry, wouldn't I? But then I might be help. No, I wouldn't be helping chemistry. It's only the Premier League which wants sorting. So I'm going to go with Neres. 79 rated. With two more picks left. Oh, no one's coming to help. Pavon. Pace. Won't get used. And this, more than likely, guys, is going to be a silver pick. It's not. Pickford Shakiri. Falk. There's no right right midfielders that are there's a left back. Shakiri or Pickford. Um I'm gonna go with Edison over them too anyway. So I'm gonna take Shakiri uh, as our final pick. So <clears throat> that's the team as it looks, guys. Probably not the greatest in term well, I don't know, it does look absolutely fantastic for one of the drafts that I've built. Sub wise, I'm gonna take off Gross, I'm gonna bring on Neymar. Um I don't think I can get away with starting Salah. No, it drops chemistry heavily there. There was nothing else really which could have helped me. It looks alright. It looks alright. Bale. Yeah, we are good. We should be golden on this one. As long as I remember how to defend. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, see who the manager is. And hopefully a Premier League manager pops up now. Nada. Nada. So we need chemistry to... Yeah, that would work. 96, 95, 95 and 96. And I think the chemistry I'm going to take, guys, is going to be to our striker. Uh, putting him on eight chemistry. Uh, and then Moutinho sticking to the uh, other one. So we'll go with Clement uh, as our manager. And uh, to finish off the draft, guys, we are going to stick. And I'm going to show you what I did do in the last draft. I don't know if you guys were keeping an eye on what I did at this stage. But we're going to press the triangle button. We're going to go with um, custom tactics. And I don't know if it stays the same. So defensive style, we're going to go drop back. Width in the middle there. Uh, depth, drop it back one more. I think this is right. Offensive style balanced as well. Width, drop it on in. Players in the box will drop that in and out. And then corners, free and free. I think this was how we had it, but I could be uh, could be totally incorrect. And that is the draft done for today, guys. So Tuesday's draft is this. We're, up, so we're in a comfortable position. We've got money to spurn, but obviously I'd love to win the draft, and hopefully we can do that today. Guys, leave a like, rate in the video. Subscribe up. Let's go and get into this and see 
how we do. So guys, after the fabulous win yesterday and the fabulous pack we got with Lukaku, today was more likely going to be us back to the start going out in the first round. Up against this strong looking team with uh, Bradley Wright Phillips up front in the striker position in form, surrounded with a nice Premier League team and some nice individual players like Pogba, Hazard uh, as the main two in there. Now, our team was not bad. I was making some sloppy passes in the first half, unable to break away against our opponent and then we were caught with this guy. It's brilliant pass and play. Luis Alberto with the ball here. Picks it up nicely. Gets it through to Allen. Allen through to Luis Alberto. Over to Ronaldo. And uh, Ronaldo makes it 1-0 in the 47th minute. I was annoyed to concede that goal. Nice finish from him. Like composed finish inside the area. And uh, he goes 1-0 up. Now this will be a little bit of a tough ask. For me to be able to get back into this game. And uh, you can see the ball into Bale. Obviously brought him on as a sub. Um, down to Matuidi. Matuidi, this 86 minute as well. Ball through to Lukaku. Lukaku with the pass over to Salah. Salah inside the area. Dances back. Gets lucky to actually keep hold of the ball. Gets it with Cancelo. Cancelo back to Salah. Salah into Ronaldo. Ronaldo with the turn. Uh, lucky to keep the ball. Whips on into the back post. And somehow... My opponent does clear, but the pressure was still on. Thankfully, we won the header there with Cancelo, um, with the defender through Cancelo into Matuidi, over to Bale. Bale into, uh, well, you can see Neymar gets the ball back, guys, and puts it in the back of the net after the 1 2 with Lukaku. And we do make the game. 1-1 um, and uh, took us into extra time. This could have easily been a first round exit but with that we do move on to penalties. Neymar Jr. up against Edison. Uh, we step up for the penalty. No, he steps up for the penalty with his Neymar Jr. Uh, it looked like he was going left and he actually does go left and we save it and you can see that by the angle in which the body of the player has got and uh, it didn't look comfortable. So we save the first penalty. Bale steps up, puts it down the middle and we go 1-0 up in the penalties. Now this was the last thing I wanted guys, was a penalty shootout in the foot draft first round but we had to go for it. He even looked like he was going left that time round and he stayed left and scored the goal. Then we step up with Salah. <laughs> we even had the arrow. We put the ball wide, guys. I was triggered. Um, the game was uh, tied back up at 1-1 with my opponent about to take the advantage. And you can see him step up for the penalty. Goes to the right-hand side and goes past the goalkeeper. We then step up with Neymar Jr. ourselves. A person who uh, missed for him. Uh, we stutter it to the uh, right and then actually go to the left bottom corner. And that puts us even on penalties. He steps up with Mertens this time around. Mertens with the shot. Beats the keeper very, very easily. And uh, then he's in the lead. It was uh, me on the back foot. Lukaku steps up. Puts it to the left. In off the post. And we get very, very lucky with that one. Because Ronaldo steps up for his penalty. The final penalty that he has of the of five before moving on into sudden death. And Ronaldo... With the long penalty. I was like, what's he even doing? Started wiggling my feet around. Got a little bit bored with what he was doing. And uh, he sets up for the penalty. Goes to the right. We save it. And all we've got to do now, guys, is put the penalty in ourselves. With Arna and Ronaldo. He steps up. A little angle to the left. And shoot to the right. He stays down the middle, but he doesn't save that. And we win the penalty shootout in the first round of the foot draft. I was mad. At this point, I was really mad at this point. Just the fact that I got to the shot in the first game. But our second opponent, Ronaldo, Costa, Insigne, Bernardeschi, um, Modric, Fernan Hernandez, I think. No, that is, her yeah, Hernandez, Umtiti, Radu. I don't know who the uh, left centre mid is and uh, Cancelo uh, in his team. We could have took the chance there. Ronaldo caught it sweetly on the volley, but he never uh, hit the side net in and didn't even test the keeper. We then continued to push. Ball over, one touch passing. Uh, you can see the ball there with Ronaldo. Gets cut off. Ball into Ronaldo here. Waiting for the runners. Ronaldo waiting for that run there. Finally sees it. Gets it in to uh, Boateng. He chips it over. And Neymar heads it into a free goal. And uh, we go 1-0 up in the 51st minute. A very, very nice uh, bit of play. Consistent pressure against our opponent. And uh, it was proven with the 1-0 goal that we were given. But defensively, not playing the best. Ball into Insigne down the wing. Insigne tracking him, tracking him, tracking him. Whips the ball in. Uh, go for the clearance and it's picked off by Neymar on his chest. And then volleys it into the top corner and makes it 1-1 in the 64th. Like, we were doing pretty good in this game. So for me to concede that goal, I was not happy. Uh, because we should have easily had like three or four goals at this point. I decided to make the substitutes in the 64th minute pretty early. To bring on the likes of Bale and stuff. And... Um, and, uh, from kickoff, guys. Even though I don't, 
I still don't see that many kickoff goals against myself, but this one is definitely a kickoff goal. Ball into Salah, Salah over to Bale. Bale with the left footed shot of dreams, beats the keeper and puts us 2 1 up in the 65th minute of the game. Nice uh, goal and obviously shut out his goal, which he got to tie the game up. So we're back into the lead and uh, then we, it was us just constant pressure down the wing, cutting on the inside, ball into uh, Bale there, over to Neymar. Neymar inside the area gets dropped by the defender and that gives away a penalty and another free shot. Thankfully, in the previous game, we did have the penalty shootout, so we're given a little bit of uh, practice shooting there, and uh, Ronaldo stepping up for the penalty. Didn't know how I actually went high on that penalty. I tapped it, it went high, and then he stood right, so he shot right and he dived left. So thankfully, we go 3-1 up, and that was us out of the quarterfinals of the foot draft and now into the semifinals. You can see 16 shots, 10 on target, three goals. Definitely not the best, but it is the early stages of FIFA. Our next opponent, Eden Hazard, Suarez and Bale as his front three. Tony Cruz, Casemiro as his two main holding midfielders. He's also got Ibora and uh, Alonso. Abraham Stark, I think that is Rafinha. And uh, Sommer in net. Now, the worst thing about this game wasn't the team we're playing. It was the kick clash. It didn't look like this would be a bad kick clash, but it was absolutely horrendous. And Ronaldo with a long-range shot, not even a time shot, guys, bangs it in from distance and puts us 1-0 up within 8 minutes uh, and the kick clash was like really annoying for me and him himself. Um, uh, he did have the start button press at this point to make some substitutes he brought them on, we brought some on as well taking off the likes of uh, Gross and stuff and then you can see Salah with the ball nice fake shot on the defence, carries the ball forward, he's got the pace, he's got the dribbling runs straight through the belly of the defence, gets the ball over to Cristiano, Cristiano sees the space, able to the L1 fake shot, passes it over to Salah who puts it in easily and makes it 2-0 in the 14th minute of the game my opponent had enough of presumably the kick clash like I haven't really seen many people rage quitting draft at this uh, stage of FIFA usually people do stay around um, but this start button was pressed and Alford FC were out of the game and that was us into the draft final for today up against a Premier League team with Sterling, Kane and Hazard Pogba, De Bruyne, William, Sanchez, Van Dijk, Masuaku and Trippier and De Gea that was a 186 rated Premier League draft and one which I was pretty scared to play against because he was using Kane very effectively. A target man style striker, holds the ball up nice, pings the ball into the centre there, picks it off Pogba. Nice one-two between him and uh, De Bruyne. Harry Kane with a dribble. Don't know how I didn't get the tackle off. I still don't know why I didn't do it. Stupid on my part. He goes 1-0 up in the 27th minute. This will be... One tough game to come back from, uh, especially with the lack of chances that I did create in this game up until this point. But in the 69th minute, a quick free kick into uh, Miranda. He turns around, laces it off to Ronaldo, and Ronaldo smashes it from distance. Dodgy keeping, in off the post. We make the game 1-0 in the 70th minute. So we tied it back. We're going to give anyone a challenge. We're going to give anyone a test in the draft final. And this game went to extra time. Neymar on the ball, cutting on the inside, gets the ball into Bale. Bale waiting for the runners, rounds the defender, turns back, gets it over to uh, Neymar. Neymar works the space, gets the finesse shot off, in off the post, and makes it 2-1 in the 101st minute of the game. Now, all we had to do was see out the game, and we win our second draft in a row. And with my opponent taking all the... Uh, all the players up the field to go for the attack. He cost himself a brilliant save there from Czech. But Bale, with the weakest of shots, puts it in and confirms another draft final victory for us in the second one of the week. Fantastic. But can we get a repeat of yesterday's packs we got? Another game, guys, which could have gone anywhere, but thankfully the rocket of Ronaldo did come into play and give us that lead. Uh, I will show you the goal which Ronaldo got because it was really brilliant. Um, like, nice pass there, brilliant turn by the, the uh, Miranda, square in one touch and then bang, levers it from distance. Probably dodgy keeping, but it's in off the post anyway. Our next miss, this would be a rough one, I think, actually. Ball in there, whipping it in. And I thought that was actually floating into the top corner, but it never. It went to time. Then Neymar got the goal here. Ball inside, touch, turn back, and then the finesse shot in off the post as well. And then the final goal was a bail one where Neymar should have put it in, but a brilliant save. I think the keeper saved it. I want to see it from another angle. Most weakest shot you're ever going to see in your life, guys. Gareth Bale does make it. I want to see, does he save this? 
Yeah, he does. He just saves it. What a save that was. But unlucky that Bale was running on in. So, two draft wins in a row this week. I'm happy with that. Um, penalties in the first round could have gone anywhere. And then we were up to uh, this. So, 1 0 penalty win. 3 1, 2 0, 3 1. And that does see us with Boosh. A rare goal pack, rare goal pack, and a premium goal pack. Not bad. And we've also got some other stuff as well, which will clear out. So, uh, we've got. Foot Central, and we definitely are going to play the other ones as well. Be Victorious gives us 100 coins, which is nice. And the Centre Mid to Cam card, which sells 600. It doesn't really sell. We'll list it on up. We'll let someone take it on a bit of a bargain there. And uh, Weekly's, how far away? Two games away from play 10. Two goals from low crosses, and the rest we might not get near. But we'll try our best anyway. So let's move on to the pack. See if we can get a one-to-watch card in a pack. Probably not. But our luck yesterday, guys, was pretty ridiculous anyway, getting Lukaku. Not one of the bigger, better players that you would want to get, but uh, we can try anyway. This time we don't even get bored. It is Sergi Dada. And these players I will hold on to and get rid of them at a later time anyway. Um, Binder will try and list up. We've actually got a nice set. We'll list all these up as well. 200 for the contracts. 200 for the contracts. 200 for the contracts. 200 again, and same for player fitness. And then I think them, not maybe not the left wing back to left back, but how much does that one go for? 150, 200. So that one may sell. And then the next one I think is a is an expensive one. 1612. So I list it for 13. Just because I saw one for 12 then. So I list it for that, and then that, and then that can go. Um, and the ball will list on up as well. So. We've got the players which are going to hold on into the club. And now onto the rare gold packs. Guaranteed rare. One to watch item? Who knows? Let's see. Rare gold pack as the first one. No 86 plus. No one to watch. But we have got a board. And the board player is Polish. It's going to be Glick, isn't it? 83 rated Glick. We'll hold on to him, though, uh, for a time when SBCs do come around. So we'll hold on to him. Same with Gaia. We'll list up the manager. Uh, contracts 200 keep the squad fitness until next weekend league I think because at the moment the market's absolutely flooded um, left mid, wing to left mid 600 550 so I'll list that one for 500 hopefully that goes and what else have we got Germany Bundesliga I presume that's going to be 200 400 I won't see how much that one is 500 so I'll go 400 on that one 350 sorry uh, Besiktas badge, 200, and Old Trafford, 350, ooh, 500, we'll list it for 450, hopefully someone takes Old Trafford, so we'll hold on to the rest there, probably not 15k's worth of stuff back in this draft, but no 86 plus again, no one to watch again, but we have got a board player, and there is some expensive board players, German goalkeeper, probably not, Timo Horn, 83 rated, yeah. Lucky we did actually pat Lukaku then, guys, because uh, we has not made monies now. Adriano Pochettino, though. 950. 1 3. I'll list him for 950. He can go for 800 there. Uh, what else have we got? Player contracts 200. Again. So, pretty after the hard fighting of draft today guys we've unfortunately failed at it we've got a right wing back to right back 150 200 we'll list that one up there and what else we've got Bernabal stadium i could make that my stadium actually i don't know what is my stadium let's see no we just made Bernabal our stadium guys and we've got anfield as well which we'll list on up because that one is 1k we'll list it for for about 9.50. Let that one fly, hopefully. And Valencia kit, which I do actually like the look of. So I might actually go. So I'm having troubles with that kit. So I'm going to get rid of the UNAM kit. And I might actually sell the... Unless that was one I, I got rid of. I'm going to take a look in the club anyway. Um, but nothing has... Or oh, one thing has sold. What was it? CDM to centre mid for 1.3. That's money back. And then in my club, there's a few players in there. But... Yeah, we've got a few things ready for, for selling when SBCs decide to come out. Packed a lot of players already as well. There's nothing uh, that expensive. Consumables, we've got a healing card, which is cheap as hell. Like, we may as well list that one up, actually. 350 Let that one go. We've got that, um, these two, which we can quick sell because I don't think anyone will take them. CSL might, though. 
Uh, we'll list that for 200. So maybe someone will take it. And in the kits, was that a tradable kit? It was a tradable kit. 5k, 3.5k, 2.5k. This might be a kit which sells 2k. So let's get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of that one. Right. What else is sellable? Quick sell. Don't need that. I may as well take the coins as much as I can. Quick sell. That was that must have been the kit we uh, the team were using earlier. Even this is a sellable kit. 600, 650. We'll see if that one sells. And then we can get rid of the East Point Arena as well, which is an untradeable item. And we need a new ball. Remind me, guys, next episode to get a new ball. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.